hello guys welcome back in this video i will be separating my adult discus from the second batch of discus fish fries so if you have, have been watching my videos you know that i have second batch of discus fish fries and now i'm going to separate them from the parents so that uh, they don't bite the parents so let's get started so these are my discus fish babies from the first batch there are five of them and these are my discus fish from the second batch there are more than 20 plus discus fish babies so i use the branch rim hatchery and feed the branch rim to the discus fish babies and it increased the number of babies that i got that is previously i got only five now there are more than 20 plus discus fish babies so i recommend feeding baby branch rims to the discus fish fries because it will increase the number of discus fish babies that you will get out of the hatched fries if you want to see a video about making a baby branch shrimp from the eggs and feeding it to the fries, I have added a video in the cards, you can check it from there. Now I'm going to add this 20 plus babies into that grow-out tank. So I'm using the net to collect the discus fish babies. So there it is in the grow-out tank, I have added it. They're looking good in this grow-out tank. Now time for the second scoop, so I am assuring that most of the discus are caught in the first scoop but it is not, they are jumping out as you can see. So this is the second scoop, now there are only few left, I think there are only two more left. So there it goes, the third scoop, I got it. So there it is, all the discus fish babies have been added to the grow tank. Now the bigger ones are chasing the smaller one. I think there is mild aggression. So I may need to build another grow tank so that I can separate these bigger discus fish babies from the smaller ones so that there will be not much aggressions. So in the upcoming videos I will be making a bigger grow out tank more than 100 gallons. So if you are new to this channel please subscribe the channel to watch the upcoming videos. So these are the discus fish breeding pair. They are now alone in the breeding tank. So hopefully they will start another batch of discus fish fries. But there is some problem with the female discus fish. So there is a, some white spot on the body. So hopefully after recovering from this they will start breeding again. As far as the grow tang are concerned, the smaller discus fish are now settling in with the bigger ones. They are not harming that much. So hopefully they will completely settle down in two to three days let's see what happens now it's feeding time for the discus fish the bigger discus fish babies are more aggressive towards the food than the smaller ones the smaller ones are figuring out where the food is so that one also will settle down in two three days so discus fish breeding pair are, are also eating well there is no problem but they are not happy after removing the discus fish babies. So everything will be alright in couple of days. So the cats were crying that why don't you feed us, you feed only the fish. So I fed them also, so they are now also happy. So these are the discus fish babies after one day. They are now settling in with the bigger ones and the bigger ones are not harming them that much. The smaller discus fish are also eating right now. Since there are a lot of fish in the one grow tank, some problems will arise down the road. So the discus fish are not putting on any color. They are just showing the golden color that they have on their body. Some discus fish have shown some black stripes on their body. So they are showing some wild characteristics of their parents. So these are the discus fish babies after two days. The smaller ones are settling well with the bigger ones. Like I said earlier, the bigger ones are not showing any color characteristics. 
some are showing wild black stripes on their body while others are just showing the yellow golden color on their body so after reaching 2 to 3 inch i can sell them at pet stores or i can sell them online through classified ads so that i can get more room in the grower tank right now i don't have any grower tank and i think it will cause some ammonia specks in the tank and i have to do water change every two to three days so there are some signs of heavy breathing with some discus fish in the grower tank so everything will be all right i just need to make sure that i do regular water changes keep the temperature around 28 to 30 degrees celsius and feed them with healthy food and everything will be all right the smaller discus fish will also grow out to the bigger ones and once a considerable size has been achieved i can sell them to pet store or i can sell them using classified site like olx let's see how it goes to keep up to date about my discus fish babies and the breeding pair and also about my other aquariums related videos please subscribe my channel if you like this video give it a like and share it with your friends and until next video bye and take care and thanks for watching